G'day guys, welcome back. So I've just done that um, acrylic pour, you know, the cloud one. And I've got these paints left and I was about to clean them up and put lids on them and I thought, oh, let's just do another quick little pour. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do, just to use them up. Um, if you wanna see all the colors and know more about it, you can watch the previous video. Um, but basically I'm using Floetrol and for, for my colors and then I've put some satin enamels in my white to get like a little little cloudy effect nothing too major like I don't want to sometimes you know if you do the cloud effect um, too much white and it, it'll just take over the whole thing so I'm just going to add a little bit of white so what I did with the other one I put a puddle of white in the middle I'm not going to do that this time and yeah I'm just using up my leftover paints here, which isn't a lot. So I've got some navy blue, some cerulean blue, some crimson red. This guy here is emerald green. I haven't got much left of him. I actually lost most of this color in the last pour, so I'm gonna put a decent amount in now and just do one layer, because I haven't really got enough for two. I'm thinking two small layers probably won't probably won't see it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna see all this green now, nothing else. <laughs> all right, some more white, and I won't put the red next to the white for obvious reasons. Don't want a pink happening. So these. Colors are mixed equal parts with Floetrol. They're Montmartre colors. I did one part Floetrol to one part paint. The US Floetrol is a thicker mix. Um, and then the Overtrol from Europe is thicker again. Hmm. I haven't got much left, have I? Gosh, I hope I've got enough to actually do a, a painting. I'll keep that tiny little bit left for the outside. More red here. I don't know why I've got more red. Um, do I want more white? Let's put a little bit more white. Oh, no, I didn't want to do it next to the red. Never mind. Um, what have I got left? I've got a tiny bit of this. Actually, let's just use that up there. And I'll, I've got red left over, so I'll put red on the corners as my flow enhancer just to help this colour all flow over the top of it. Because the paint's going to flow much easier over a wet canvas than it is over a dry canvas. Alright, so I'll pour this and then I'll do that. Right, so no white puddle this time. Um, we'll see what the difference is, because I think the pouring into the white really churns it up and it kind of grayed the colors so we'll see now they kind of lost their vibrancy so we'll just see what happens with it like this and I'm going to stand here that way I can turn my hand a little bit so just a straight pour I'm just going to turn a little bit just to Give a little bit more interest otherwise you tend to get like one color on one side and then another color on the other side and then it's a bit a bit boring so just turn my hand a little bit to get a little bit of interest just finish off with a little circle in the middle be interesting to see if it's better without the white puddle hey yeah i just i just thought oh my god Where's all my colours gone? <laughs> They're just really greyed off. I'm trying to get as much out of there because I haven't got much paint left. Right. Oops. Dripped a bit. If that happens to you, just get your little stick. Just go back and do a little circle like that. Hey, no one will ever know. Except everyone watching on YouTube. Oh, look, you can see the green more. Yay. All right, so this is where we've got that little bit of red left. Just pop it on the side. doesn't matter what colour you've got. You're not even going to see it. It's 
just here for the other colors to slide over it. So whatever color you've got left, probably wouldn't put white on though because it's got the cloud mix in it. Around here. I'm glad we can see that green this time, aqua green. Should be just enough for this little canvas because I was getting, yeah, like I said, I was getting ready to clean it all up and pack it up and I thought, oh, it's going to be just as easy just to do another quick video in, with my leftover paints rather than, you know, try and keep them for the next pour and then you haven't got enough to do like a big pour so then you got to make up more paints and yeah it's just easier this way isn't it it's a two for one a two for all right there we go now where's my torch let's give it a quick torch i'm loving what it's doing so far it was like one half better than the other. See, this this is what happened to my other one as well. I had all these gorgeous fingerlings on this side. That's what I call them, fingerlings. They kind of look like little stumpy fingers. <laughs> so I'm going to try and keep as much as I can of that and get rid of this. So let's do this side first. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go all the way around. Around we go. And then around we go. There's something in there. I have to sieve my green paint. Eh. All right, I'm just going to have to just see how it goes. I might have to tip it. I think I went through with my little stick. <laughs> Doesn't matter. All right, round we go. I'll just have to tip that section off. I'm going to do that and like pinch it so that I don't lose too much paint. Back to the middle, always go back to the middle. Recenter. I'm going to try and get that off. Watch this bit here. We'll get him off. Off you go. Go on. Shoo. Something in there. Just going to do that with the color and just get it to go through my fingers. That way I'm not losing too much little trick for you yeah see that see that there I think I must have followed through with my little I don't know my stick a drip I don't know something has happened there all right back to the middle and then we'll go over to this corner see what I mean about you're not seeing the the red you know I'm not gonna see what colors under there I'm just gonna do this make a little wedge that way I'm using all my paint I'm not going to lose too much of it because I haven't got much of it back to the middle if you want to if you want your middle in your middle that's what you do but if you don't want your middle in your middle and you don't need to worry about it okay here we go I'm gonna just gonna pinch that again it's a bit of a darker corner that's all I don't want to take all that white all that dark color off Back to the center. Oh, look at it, you guys. Okay, so I love it much better than having the, the white puddle in the center. Yeah, definitely. Got a lot more fingerlings on this one. Don't know why. <laughs> this is a smaller, smaller canvas and I like it better. Go figure. All right, now the other thing I need to do is just cover my sides. Because I didn't go over all the way. Use the paint that's on the canvas near that corner because it'll match. And I'm going to run my finger under there, run my finger under there. You can just pop it over there like that. That'll catch. Make sure you go around, not over the top, in case you've got paint on your fingers and then you drip them into your canvas. And that is not good. And there we go. Righto. What else can I do with it? It was too quick. I feel as if I need to. To do something else. No, no, I'm happy with it. That's really cool. I like that. Yay! All right, let me get my gloves off and I'll give it a quick little torch. That's so pretty. Why is it that the small ones work out better than the big ones, hey? 
why. I'm running out of gas. Right, I'm going to bring you down for a close-up so that you can see. Do you like looking straight down? It's a bit of a different view that I've got now that I'm in my new studio. I've got a new setup. I'll bring you down. All right, there we go. Still looks very dark. I don't know. I've got so many lights on here. It's still dark. Do you want to see? This is my new studio setup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so I've got the boom arm over there where I put my phone in so I can do straight down videoing. It's not too messy at some at this stage and I've got two ring lights there either side and then I've got those really bright LEDs down there but I don't know it still doesn't seem to be dark enough um, light enough oh, maybe I need a light straight above me but the problem with that is it will reflect like if I get a light straight above me it might reflect and then you'll be able to see it in whatever work I'm doing Oh my gosh, I, I think this is better than the previous one. I don't know why. It's got great little fingerlings. The only difference is I didn't do the puddle of white. That's probably why it's kept its color. I can see the green. Look at that. Look at that. That is just yummy. Look at those fingerlings. Little stumpy fingers, but they've got all these different colours in. That's where, I don't know, some drip or something. Maybe my stick. I, I don't know what happened there. That's okay. Alright, so that's it. Let me know what you think of this guy. Check out the other one, the bigger one. Let me know what you prefer. I think I prefer this one. I have no idea what I did differently apart from not adding the white in the middle. All right, thanks for watching you guys. That was a quick video, wasn't it? Look at that, 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> All right, I'll see you all soon for the next video. Okay, take care. Bye for now.